keeping you safe on the road, especially bridges. Student correspondent Brandon Fonda takes us inside Utah State University's Smash Lab. The Smash Lab here at Utah State helps others build bridges by destroying them. Labs such as the Smash Lab are, are really unique uh, in the ability to, to test um, structural components to failure. Something that this ram or smasher can do fairly easy. Almost, uh, you know, break anything that, uh, that, we've, that we need to. Pushing this button applies thousands of pounds of pressure per second. That's 2,000 pounds right there. Up to 1.2 million pounds of force, turning rebar into scrap metal, cement into dust, and bridge beams into broken ones. After this beam is crushed, students analyze the data and then publish it so other institutions can build better bridges in the future. We give that report to the U.S. Department of Transportation uh, with recommendations on how we can better our design methods. And to better those designs, students tested the weight capacity on this 49-year-old bridge. It broke at 359,000 pounds. They also do test deflection. During the test, it takes readings as the, the load is applied. And it will take a reading at the failure point also, so we know exactly how far that moves. Failure tests that students run in here so that they don't happen outside the lab. The I-35 bridge in um, Minneapolis that failed a few years ago, um, those are high-profile failures, and, and we need to do everything we can to make sure that those don't happen again. A responsibility that these students take pride in. We are dealing with life safety. Uh, it, there's, it's a lot of... of burden on your shoulders, but it's also very challenging and very fun. Brandon Fonda, ABC4 News, Utah. Uh, we're not smashing anything in the weather world, but the nice weather is moving on. That's right. ABC4 Utah Chief Meteorologist Jim Kosek is here with a first look at